Alright guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel, Ranger and Rin. Ranger here. Now this is gonna be my playthrough and walkthrough for Wasteland 3. Um, I only finished the game once. Um, I used Ranger difficulty, so that has friendly fire. That might be different from whatever mode you're playing, unless you're playing also Ranger or Supreme Jerk. Um, I also played the game a few times just to experiment with a few things uh, like builds and stuff. Now, my videos are gonna have spoilers, a lot of spoilers, and they're gonna be long. Um, some videos might be just 15 minutes, some might be an hour or an hour and a half. So I'll leave like timestamps at the description or at one of the comments, so you can just use that, click it, so you can skip through the video. Um, I won't be wasting your time. With that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, so next video is gonna be about the ranger headquarters um it's the first time i got here so we're done with the introductions for the patriarch we created two more rangers marshall kwan has joined us um what we're gonna do here is we'll start this way this Pretty is gonna be Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something or a handball court this is gonna be a museum um there's someone at colorado springs um that you'll meet he's wearing green uh, like a suit you'll get to meet you just talk to her she's just right next to the museum at colorado springs there's gonna be some enemies here Right there. So what you can do is you put your guys into formation. So you get either your sniper, you shoot. No! One tip I can give you in terms of um, attacking is get the guys with the guns attack first before your melee there were times i will i had my melee guy um my first time i played this i was mostly using bladed weapons if you have someone using a heavy machine gun or a submachine gun you shoot them and the melee guys right here gonna get hit the chance he gets hit if you have friendly fire enabled don't know what to do next you can just ambush usually sniper just consumes the entire um, points so just defend and set you to ambush well so there's gonna be also an ambush on you Then you press and hold shift. You want to see everything inside the room. Container here. Creepy dolls. So it, it is what it is. If this is black and white. Give stats, the explosive damage bonus. All members, if I remembered right, found eight the creepy dolls. There could be more. I haven't looked it up like how many.
frente. Es... Here, um, this loot here. Container at the war room right there. I'm gonna go get that later. Now you will find these lying around the um, ranger headquarters. You'll play a role at the. This is major spoilers. End game spoilers. This part will turn to a museum, and depending on what path you take. The ranger headquarters is going to be on a lockdown. You're going to get attacked. Then you need to access these. For now, they just tell you what's happening. Like personal logs. So you need dirt stuff. It gets higher. So for now, I just have dirt stuff at 4. Or sorry, at 3. So. Step away. You can get back with that later. Um, it's fine. This side of the Ranger headquarters. Since this is the first time you're here, this side, right this side. This must have been the mess hall. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest way to keep them loyal. This part, there's no traps. The other side here, there's gonna be some traps. Um, explosives, strip wires. These do not need these. Just leave them alone. They're gonna put you, they're gonna give you status. Bad. These are refugees. So open the door. You might want to save here. Maybe some dialogue. Talk. Please, don't shoot. Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I'm Del Hackett, and I, well, I, I speak for these people. We've been living here for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Bad idea. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. This part, um, I when I first played this game, I let them stay. I'm also gonna let them stay this time. They're gonna get into an argument with Brago's men about the living space. Specifically, like this is like where they sleep. Brago's men is gonna demand like they get out of this area. So what you can do is you can get into like a, an agreement. And they're gonna move to the brig to where the jail area it's gonna be fine I mean, they need they're, they're gonna be part of the reputation or the fame now, advantage of having a high fame is they will help you if you meet a refugee um, out of the map like an open world you're exploring they will either give you free stuff or give you free service something to keep in mind the Patriarch's people don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here, for any of us. Not intentionally. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago, so we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left, all the doors slammed shut and the alarms started whooping. Don't know what happened. I've been living in these ruins for weeks and I never set anything off before. I'm gonna skip this, it's just gonna give a dialogue. So? Your call. 
Won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. You said... yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing, Andy. If you find him hiding out somewhere, you send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. Now, once you get a chance, um, if they ever get into an argument with either Brago's men or the marshals about the living space, I highly suggest you move them here. It's gonna be the jail cell. And end game spoilers everyone in this room died. So, either I'm gonna experiment and keep them here, or I'm gonna move them to the brig or to the jail cell area. Um, fortunately, if I do that if i let them stay here i'm gonna have to play through the entire game just to know what the result is gonna be um it just sucks this game doesn't have like a new game plus if you want to know stuff either keep a separate save or you have to play the game all over again you can talk to them it's kind of useless this will let you change the appearance of your um, ranger whoever goes to cabinet and change your appearance so for me we're good next jail area this is gonna be the prison that will hold the Buchanan's if you send them here this is gonna be where the refugees are gonna move into this area right here if you decide to move them here something you can sell now uh, I'm gonna open the container If you don't have lockpick, you can use this key. Open every door that you're allowed to open, including this. Now, the Andy guy that they were talking about is this guy. So, say first. If you're hearing a dog, it's a do there are dogs outside. So, start. Uh, this is gonna be a really really long dialogue if you talk to him he's the prisoner now what do you need to know about the prisoner after all the dialogue if you wanna skip it it's fine after the entire dialogue you can just let him go just let him go and let him go later um, once you have the jailer lady here um, there's gonna be someone here assigned by um, Sheriff Daisy you let him go, he's just gonna run all the way out. And you'll never see him again. I thought he's gonna cause a problem here. I thought he's gonna like you're gonna meet him outside or somewhere. There's absolutely nothing. So you let him go, nothing's gonna go wrong. Nothing. Talk to him. 
Hey, dudes. Hi. Well, what's up? Haven't seen you before. Have I? Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I, uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once, a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, headquarters for what? That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, are there, like, more of you here? Oh, so not many then, huh? Don't worry, you'll make new friends, I bet, though. <laughs> you, uh, you seem real friendly and nice, so... Hey, what, uh, what... <laughs> Oh, yeah, man, of course. I don't, I, I don't mind. Ask me whatever. My name? Uh, yeah, uh, Ned. Ned? Harry. Nick? Booger? Dickens? Lyle? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. Been a long time since I thought about that, man. Been a longer time since someone uh, asked me about it. You like someone from Bill and Ted or like Beavis and Butthead? I know those are like old shows, but yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of been here for a while. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like, there's no windows or clocks in here, you know? Hard to keep track of when the day, uh, when the day starts or ends. Anyway, a long time. Long enough for other groups, uh, other people to come and go. You know, man, I, uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little, uh, little crack in the ceiling over there drips some water. So I just gotta, uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty. And, uh, you know what they say about dark, damp spaces, man. Mushroom go there, man. <laughs> so I added a little self, uh, self-made fertilizer. Those mushrooms are growing good. Yeah, man, yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah, and, uh, bugs, when they come by. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. Once a squirmy slurp. <laughs> that was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Yeah, sure, uh, maybe. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him. Kinda, kinda hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. But, uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before her, the smiling woman. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. So the dead guy is Andy. 
Tired Eyes Lady is um, Del Hackett. Smiling Woman is one of the leaders of a group for the slaves. You'll meet her outside. She'll offer you a job that will open the middle part here. Um, there's like a code you need. They have the code for both doors. That's around mid game. Yeah, around mid game. Oh man, that's uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here, all nervous and uh, freaked out, and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped and then, uh, well, you came in. Well... She was, uh, she was a woman, dressed all raggedy, but, uh, I'm one to talk on that. <laughs> anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. We talked, um, for a bit, and then she left again. Sometimes I think I can still hear her voice. Hope she didn't die and she's haunting me for some reason. Though now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for company, you know. Oh, a real nice lady. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a trader. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and some people she was gonna deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, cause, uh, I got no money. Well, actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to, uh, to say that. You know, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time, and I, and I eat a lot of mushrooms. G can't always remember things that happened in the, uh, olden days, but uh, I'll try. There was, there was, um, there was a gentleman bear, the lip licker, and, uh, the bloody screamers, and, uh, and the metal fellers, and, and the really white guy, and the owl, uh, the owl face. Oh, and the six wee men, and the lion. But, uh, yeah, hard to remember who came in first, and, uh, which ones were just a nursery rhyme my grandma told me, so... Uh, yeah... So everything you mentioned, like those guys, they're like hints who's been to this place, or kind of who you meet. Not really important, but... Yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. Because, uh, the cell door is locked. <laughs> oh man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well... So a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a, more of a business partner. Friend though too, man, like former friend who decided he didn't, uh, 
want to go split seas anymore, so he, uh, he conked me on the head. And when I woke up, um, I, I was in here. Real bummer, man. Like, seriously. I told you, man. My partner trapped me in here. Thought he was my friend, you know? But, uh... But he wasn't. Oh, uh... Didn't, uh... Didn't we talk about this already? So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. And yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine and he falls down and then all these uh, sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Like, it made it really hard to sleep, you know? Then after a while, the alarm stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. What? That's, uh, <laughs> that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him? Man, what a, what a wacky world. While those, uh, those alarms were going off? How'd that happen? Well, that guy, uh, he fell over onto the computer machine after the flash. Maybe he landed on, uh, on the buttons or on the thing with all the little buttons. Or, oh, oh shit, man. Do you think someone snuck in here while I was sleeping and fiddled with those buttons? A prowler lurking about? That's, um... Some scary stuff, man. Yikes. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. And they grow every, uh, everywhere and grow easy. I love them. It's really wrong, long dialogue. Who knew they were poisonous ones? <laughs> oh man, yes, yes, please. Very much. Uh, your call on this one, Rangers, but really, I just let nature take its course here, if you know what I mean. I'd, uh, I'd really, really really like to get out of here really oh man just like everybody else okay well uh, I guess I'll see you around all right so that's the entire right side of the ranger headquarters I'm just gonna talk to Dale Hackett really quick Tell him about Andy. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Sure. Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of, well, uh, of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. We stay away from that awful room. Nothing but death in there. Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I... Well, I... 
I left him locked up after I met him. I, I felt bad about that. He was cordial enough, but uh, he just kept asking questions that felt off. And those glassy eyes. Booby traps, mostly. Yep. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told everyone to avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. Poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. <laughs> we first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. We've been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Careful out there. It's an un people are people, and sometimes they need help. That's what the ra oh, Andy, damn it! I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but at least we had our supplies with us. How did he? <laughs> no, I don't want to know. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Careful out there. That's it's the end world. of the dialogue for Del Hackett. Now we're gonna move on to the right side and then the outside. This is gonna be a longer video. It's just one side of the Ranger headquarters if you're if it's your first time. Once you leave, you miss the chance of exploring the entire area and getting the items. So best do it now. Or just do it before you leave and you go to the world map or to whatever Denver Aspen there's no way you'll reach Aspen now but Denver or outside or Colorado Springs do everything here get it right now before um, my first day through I thought I can come back and get those items but no they're gone once you leave so for now and I'm gonna leave timestamps in the description or the comments this is too long for you it's already 31 minutes so next part we'll go to garage it's gonna be the med bay and armory then the outside there's more booby traps outside then some animal companions you can get dog deer fox rabbit so we'll continue there and see right Okay, now since we're done with the right side of the ranger headquarters we're now gonna head to the left um, there's no more enemies in the area there's absolutely none uh, but there are gonna be traps nothing at the mesh hall or pantry refugees brig it's gonna be the museum <coughs> Go room i forgot what they call this area you can access the garage from outside or from inside. So just left click if you're playing on PC. Garage. To get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. You can knock pick. Moving. That was weird. Alright, so we get some mods. You can attach them to weapons and armor. But you again, you need some mods to acquire a certain level. Um, and some mods, uh, and usually it's for armor. If it adds to your armor, it will reduce your attack, or sorry, action points by one or two. Now. drivers fed up with paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car consolidated atomics has the answer 
Introducing Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an expert driver, navigator, and auto mechanic all in one. Hermes remembers your daily commute, gathering up-to-the-minute traffic reports to plot the quickest route to your destination. The AI also takes care of basic maintenance, keeping your vehicle in peak condition. Visit your local dealership for information on a Hermes upgrade kit today. Consolidated Atomics, 21st century solutions for the problems of today. <laughs> so, a piece advertisement. Is it oh, this guy? New mechanics. And you're gonna end up fighting this guy. So I got this close. Punching. Alright, so you can see it reduces the armor. Breaks. You're gonna do more damage. To the sniper the closer the enemy the less your hit rate happens to you and you don't so oh. oh shit we survived <laughs> Yep, works out item. Okay, now save. Always check your guns if you have to reload just in case. To check the body for remember trait requires 13 points for first aid. Yep. Now, if you don't have enough points to fight this guy or just repair, uh, when you leave and you come back, they'll be gone, like I said earlier. Or oh, this place has a lot of crabs. Ooh. Better save. Look at all this machinery. If we can get it all running, this will be a good spot for your armory. Get everyone here. Two more traps there. Eve. Those is... Yeah, what you can do. Just to save first if you're gonna do this. Do that. Can't you remember? Yeah, there's some more traps here. This. Crash. Up. Actually, another terminal here. Forgot to check it. Now, for the frag grenade, how is it equipped? Good. Better put healing item for each. Fortunately, they don't have enough. But, yeah. I'm gonna buy some once I get to Colorado Springs.
about it. Else, and there's gonna be a few containers here once this the whole place gets cleaned up. And if you're having problems, you can press if you're playing on PC, you can press E within the camera or Q. When you reset the camera, just press backspace. Alright. More traps outside. I just suggest you save. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. That's your Kodiak. So we're done with our left side, we're now outside. Trap here. Only get one guy to climb up. Good. The other one is a building below. We're gonna I'm gonna go there. That's a trap. Almost got me the first time. Jesus. A few more. Junk. Pick up. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Greetings. Dogs. So if you have um, animal whisper, you can get the dog. This humans call. Alright, so here. This is a cyborg chicken. This is a total of four cyborg chickens. I forgot to get them all. Um, first time I played, so I can talk to the chicken. know what's gonna happen yet um, yeah I'm gonna have to collect them all uh, okay so I'm gonna save you're gonna get one Maybe a trap here. Knew it. I knew it. Perception is not high enough. But if I bring them all and it explodes, they're all gonna get damaged. So no. I'm not gonna be taking that risk. You. This. Three, six, two. Don't want to see what it is. Okay, good. Guns. I don't really think there's anything else I can use for now. Yeah, I'm gonna sell these guns to get to them. At this point, we're actually good. Pretty much done here. Again, just get. Everything once you do have everything you need this place you can go to Colorado Springs These are snowballs are so actually useless so no need to pick up like this Nate no yeah just to show it I'm gonna end the video here um, you can like you can subscribe thank for watching 
If you have any information you want to add, just leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.